So what I'm going to do here is uh, take The Road Not Taken. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. So this is a super easy way to get a nice line metal ruler. They're not that expensive and I would highly suggest to have one in your toolbox. I am lining it up to the words. And then this one, I'm looking at the 90 degree angles, making sure that it is squared off. We don't want it to be, see, that's how you make sure that you are cutting this clean. You see how that 90 degree angle, a 90 degree angle here and here, that means that this is a 90 degree angle which means that you're making a square. So either make it not square on purpose or try to get it close to where you want it. As I was looking at this being finished, I decided that I wanted um, to put in a Robert Frost uh, poem that I really love. This is begging for some metallic a metallic background for sure um, and then I just remembered that I had done this on one of my altered books on the creating your first altered book series and uh, so we're going to use that technique here at the back of the napkin remember we don't have to get the inside of this we just need to get the outside So I'm putting on a nice thick layer of this bronze brass color. Well, I don't know if this is the copper color, maybe. This should be a quick way to um, color this. And um, we can actually put a squirt of... Uh, um, we could use our shimmer sprays in here. This is some of the plum. It works nicely with that antique bronze color that we were just using. Okay. And let's bring in a little bit of this uh, walnut stain. It's a good, nice, dark, deep color. We're looking to make a nice frame around the poem. And I am also considering finding a um, frame for the poem itself, a piece of board to put it on. All right, let's see what happens when we add a little water to this. Or do I add Mod Podge? I add Mod Podge. That's what I need to do next. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Okay, so you guys hear me use the term dry brush. Dry brush means that it doesn't have a bunch of water on it. You're not doing a wet on wet technique. Um, we are putting on a light layer and smudging it around. Don't get it too thick. Uh, it is white glue. You get it too thick and you will get a white film on it. So we do not want that film. This will give us a great leather-like um, feel, which we always love coming up with kind of a faux leather that's nice and easy to put on. It doesn't have to be technical, it just has to be good, right? Oops, bringing in just a little bit more of that bronze right up in there. There we go. I just wanted that 
um, to have a little extra shimmer. Wasn't quite as thick there as I would have liked. Okay, so we got the background color um, just where I liked it. It has a nice metallic uh, and also kind of this burnt sienna color to it. I was really wanting to pull colors from the original piece, from the painting. That one will be um, posted on Saturday, so you'll get to see that video soon. You did see me just um, sprinkle down some Dilusions uh, Shimmer Spray. I think that's in that sunshine gold color. Uh, I just did that because I really wanted to pull over some of those leaf colors into this background piece so that they can sit side by side. These are just a couple pieces of paper that I've um, had in my stash. These were, uh, it's a little bit heavier paper, so that's why I'm using the tacky glue instead. I'm making sure to line up all the edges correctly. Uh, I want it to be a good solid frame for my poem, and I definitely want to have it centered on the page and not cockeyed uh, for this particular piece. Sometimes it's good to have, you know, kind of lopsided, but, you know, make sure that it is purposefully done. And, you know, that's just kind of a fussy thing for me. I like to make sure my edges are correct. It's part of craftsmanship. So you see that green strip down the center. It's kind of a greenish blue color and it works in perfect contrast with that rusty red. So again, I'm kind of pulling compliments on the color wheel, um, but also pulling those colors from the um, painting there that I did off the Gustav Klimt painting. Here I'm deciding to put down some Stabilo and using my paintbrush to get a nice sharp line on it. I decided I wanted to delineate uh, the background colors uh, from that middle frame color. So the problem with Stabilo, of course, it's water soluble and um, Stabilo really should be saved to the end. Here I'm deciding to edge the poem, those torn edges, uh, with a little bit of Distress ink, which is once again water soluble. So you just have to be cautious of the products that you're using and know that once you put the glue on it, um, that both the Distress Ink and the Stabilo are going to move. So uh, you just have to be careful so that you don't make a smeary mess. These colors were all so gorgeous, I didn't really want to lose um, the background colors at all. So here I'm kind of cleaning up that Mod Podge and then I'm putting a layer over the top. I do grab a little bit of the Stabilo, unfortunately, but I was able to clean it up pretty quickly, like right there. And um, same with the um, ink. Was able to work it into the poem nicely, so it gave a good continuity to everything. Now this page was uh, fairly simple, but I really wanted to make the poem be the focus, so... I think we're just about done here, actually. I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And please be sure to subscribe if you liked uh, the channel. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.